macOS version 10.4 Tiger was a direct successor to version 10.3 Panther and was first released to the public in 2005 for $129.95 US dollars for a retail copy. Initially it was released for PowerPC Macs, then with the Intel processor switch, it came pre-bundled with Intel Macs as well. There was no Intel retail version of Tiger that was officially sold besides the server version. The Intel version of Tiger also kicked off the Hackintosh movement due to its use of the x86 platform. There are a wide range of end user features that were similar to version 10.3 Panther such as the Finder, while other new features were added. Spotlight is a full text and metadata search engine which users can use to search anything on their Mac such as applications, documents and other files. Spotlight is also used to build the concept of smart folders and indexes files as they are saved. The second version of Safari comes with a built-in reader for RSS and Microsoft's Internet Explorer for Mac has been completely phased out. The dashboard is a widget board which users can use as accessories such as weather, a clock showing the current time, a dictionary, a mini music player and various other widgets. The Automator was a scripting tool which allowed complex workflows to be automated which is beneficial to the user. Tiger had support for the iLife 2006 bundle which includes the iconic iMovie video editing program. With the introduction of QuickTime 7, it introduced support for the 8.264 codec which provides better video quality compared to other video codecs. Tiger was the first version of macOS to come with a built-in dictionary application. This dictionary is based on the new Oxford American Dictionary. If your Mac had a built-in iSight camera, Tiger would include a program called Photo Booth which allowed users to take selfies with the choice of 17 different photo styles. For Intel-based Macs, Tiger came preloaded with Rosetta 1, which allowed for the translation of PowerPC applications to work on the x86 platform, especially those compiled as OS X Carbon programs, such as Microsoft Office 2004. So that was a quick review of macOS version 10.4 Tiger. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.